Today, WWE released 10 people from the roster, nine wrestlers and one referee. I'm going to go down the list of people that were cut, and after that, give my thoughts on each one. Drew McIntyre, Jinder Mahal, Oksana, Kurt Hawkins, Theodore Long, Camacho, Brodus Clay, Evan Bourne, Yoshi Tatsu, and referee Mark Harris. Drew McIntyre came in in 2009. He was a former Intercontinental Champion. He was supposed to be the chosen one, according to Vince McMahon, a soon-to-be world champion, and that never happened. He had an argument with his wife at the time, Tiffany, now known as Terran Terrell in TNA. And after that, his career went down the hill. Nothing really happened with him. And they put him with 3MB and made it kind of worse for him. People were saying, oh, you know, WWE's blowing it with him. And I kind of agreed. But it happens. This is what happens when you choose a woman over your career. Well, wait a minute. That's more John Morrison, if you ask me. But you kind of get the idea. All right. Jinder Mahal was a guy who, when he came into the main roster, they teamed him up with the Great Khali for like, what, three or four weeks. And nothing ever happened. And after the guy went stale, went bland, and he was part of 3MB as well. And now 3MB is no more. I'm surprised that Heat Slater and Hornswoggle are still with the company. Oksana was part of Season 3 NXT, the All Divas Edition. And after that, you know, she was there. Nothing really happened with her. And yeah, the last memory I have is Alicia Fox pouring water and shoving popcorn down her throat. Kurt Hawkins, surprised he stayed for as long as he did. All right, I always thought, you know what they could have done? Because the guy's a former tag team champion with Zack Ryder. Just imagine this. Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder being part of the Real Americans with Jack Swagger and Deb Coulter managing the three guys. Just imagine that. I thought it would have been cool. But it's no more now. Theodore Long has been there for so long. At the same time, you know, he had to go. Okay, but now, you know what? He's retired, I'm assuming, but who knows really. But no more six-person or tag team main events on SmackDown. Let me holla at your playa, holla, holla, holla. Camacho, they put him up with Hunico in the main roster and nothing really happened. The guy was on NXT most of the time. The last memory I have is him losing to Adam Rose on the TakeOver show. Brodus Clay was supposed to be the main event player and that never happened. I always thought that when they gave him that Funkasaurus gimmick, it sucked. They should have kept the monster gimmick, but now he's gone. Evan Bourne, no surprise. People were asking, when will he come back on Twitter? And he replied, he'll be back soon. And now that's no more. Yoshitatsu, not surprised. All right, the last memory I have of Yoshitatsu was WrestleMania 30 in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, who the first guy eliminated. And now the guy is gone. And referee Mark Harris, no memory. Don't care. It sucks to lose your job, but at the end of the day, what can you really do? All right? I'm sure some of these guys will go back to the independent scene. I did hear apparently TNA, but I don't know really. Honestly, if you're TNA, if you're going to bring anybody in, I guess you can bring in, you know, maybe Yoshitatsu, Evan Bourne, or, you know, Drew McIntyre, if you will. My thoughts overall. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of this voiceover video on the releases and all that. Share this on all your social media, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you all later in the next video. I am out. Peace. Peace.